Hi, my name is Steve Griffin, and I'm a painter and photographer, and I've just uh, finished these, this group of cyanotypes. And a cyanotype is also called a blueprint. Uh, you don't need a dark room to do this. You can uh, traditionally probably seen uh, kids use this process in leaves and branches and things, and you can just expose this paper to the sun, and it will develop in water. So it's a very simple process. Although uh, I use photographs that I took in Colonial Beach back in 2004-ish to 2008, I used a pinhole camera. I used a very large box. It's just simply a cardboard box with a very small hole in it that needs no lens because the light automatically focuses. So, but it takes a long exposure time. So all of these uh, are about three or four minute exposures on the beach in a bright sunny day. And what I get from the camera is a negative. And the size of the negative depends upon the size of the camera and how far away the pinhole is from the paper or film. I'm using paper because it's a lot, it was a lot easier to use this size uh, in paper instead of getting sheets of film. Um, but then uh, I contact these e either with sunlight or with UV light for several hours because the, I'm, I'm projecting the light through paper, not through film. But, but you can see this is the negative for that one. And when you flip it over and, and the light shines through that, you get uh, the exposure. And then, like, like I said, it just washes out in water. Are these available yes. uh, for purchase? Yes, these are available. Awesome. Thank you.